Uh, please join me in welcoming Dr. Mike Adams. You guys are having a lot of fun this morning. Woo! All right. I'm here. Woo! We must have some Southerners here. Uh, my name is Mike Adams, and I'm a professor at UNC Wilmington and a uh, faculty member here at Summit. Please give a warm welcome to Dr. Mike Adams. Thank you. It is so good to be here, but let me get started with a story, ladies and gentlemen. And I said, giddy up, because I'm from Texas. <laughs> So the way that Summit has affected me has been really interesting. Um, it's funny that I'll speak here and all these Summit kids will come up to me and say, thanks for speaking. And, you know, they're just shaking my hand and complimenting me and stuff like that. And I, I just am kind of snickering a little bit because I think it's funny because I actually can't believe I, I actually get paid to do this. Uh, it's such an honor and a blessing. Um, I know, obviously, that students come here and they're they're affected and they're equipped, but I've actually been equipped. Well, you know, I'm just sitting here. Minding my own business, as, as usual. I got an idea. When things were getting really rough, it was just fantastic to be around here at Summit, interacting with the speakers, with the students, yelling at the dish bit. It's good for the body to come out here and be in nature. It's good for the soul to be exposed to the truth and you'll, you'll form um, everlasting lifelong friendships as well. Well, I think we already know who wins in the final analysis. So what do we do between now and then? Well, we realize that the pursuit of, of justice and virtue and truth is intrinsically rewarding. There is no greater joy than standing up for the truth. Your right to life and your human value don't come from other humans. And that's why other humans cannot take them away. Thank you. You need to have a conviction that between now and the time that you die, every single time you encounter a person who says, I'm pro-choice, you recognize that it is your moral obligation to plant a stone in their shoe. Because you have absolutely no idea what will happen until you pass and wind up on the other side.